This video provides an overview of features and improvements in the CSS Designer panel and shows you how you can use CSS Designer in your Dreamweaver CC workflow. If you're new to CSS Designer, you may be asking, how do I start my web page design? Well, that's easy. Simply click on the Sources section of the CSS Designer panel, then click on the Add CSS Source button and choose from one of three options, where you can create a new CSS file, attach an existing file, or add the code to the page. To demonstrate, let's start our website design by linking to a CSS file that contains a bit of code. First, I'll switch to Design View, if I haven't already done that, and notice that that places the CSS Designer docked along the right side of the screen. I'll switch to the Files panel and double click on the Start HTML file to open it up. And moving back to CSS Designer, here's where I'll click on the Add New Source button and I will click on the Attach Existing CSS File option. And notice in the Attach Existing CSS File dialog that I have the options to either link or import this file or even create a media query. So I'm going to click on the Browse button and I'm going to browse for Start CSS. Click OK, and notice that CSS Designer updates showing the selectors inside of Start CSS, and the Live View updates showing a background tile with the small bit of content now centered on the screen. The CSS Designer is easy to understand and use if you break down the four sections of the panel into a simple visual workflow. For example, let's say you want to create a tag selector and apply it to the headline text in the center of the design. Select the headline text in Live View by clicking on it and notice that the H1 tag is highlighted. In CSS Designer, click on the start.css file, and this ensures that you're going to add the new class to the CSS file, not elsewhere, and then click on the plus sign in the selector section. Notice this automatically generates a class selector with four levels of specificity. I'm going to use the up and down arrow keys to add and remove and drop that down to two levels where I end up with caption H1. I'm going to click on the selector and notice that I now have access to my properties and the first thing I'm going to do is click on the text filter to jump down to my text properties. I'm going to set the color to a light gray color and I'm going to set the weight to normal and I'm going to set the font size to 90 pixels and that brings me up about to where it should be in the design. And it was that easy to add CSS to the design file. Next, let's move on to a few more key concepts. So sometimes the simplest improvements provide the most powerful enhancements to the way we work with design tools. To show you what I'm talking about, let's add margin values to the headline text we just formatted and see how the CSS designer responds. Click on the H1 tag if it's not already selected, and then in CSS designer, click on the shortcut to browse back up to the layout properties. In the margin field, notice that if I click on the default value of zero, that I can see that it's showing me white text on a blue background, or if you were on a Mac, it would be showing you black text on a blue background. And this text is easier to see. Notice that if I click, you can see the arrows that appear. If I drag them from left to right or vice versa, I can scrub to change the value of the field. And I will scrub up to somewhere around 20 pixels, but I'll move on for now. So far, you've seen how you can start your design work and create selectors. But it's important to note that all the features in Dreamweaver CC are synchronized together, enabling you to work in any direction. Let's wrap up the overview by defining styles for the subheadline text while creating a class directly in Live View. I'm going to click on the H2 tag and click on the plus sign next to the selection. And I'm going to type in the name for a class, which I'll name headline-sub. And I'm going to hit the Enter key, which brings up the CSS Source HUD selector. Now, this selector is giving me options of where I want to save this new class, and I'm going to choose the Start CSS file and hit Enter again. Notice in CSS Designer that my headline subclass appears, and it's selected, and I'm ready to add styles to it. So I'm going to click on the Text Filter and roll down to the size, and I'm going to set the size to 18 pixels and I'm going to set the font weight to 500 and just for good measure again filter back up to the layout properties and I'm going to set the left margin to scrub to a value of 26 and the bottom margin to a value of roughly 20 and that finishes my design in that area of the page. Now let's say that your design is complete and you need to debug it. CSS Designer is a great tool for this scenario. 
First, notice that any element that I click on in Live View or Code View highlights in CSS Designer, and I can click on the Computed field in the Selectors area to show me all the computed properties for that particular element. And while I'm here in CSS Designer, notice that I can use the Live Highlight feature to roll over any selector and show dotted lines around any element that happens to apply that selector. Very easy way to discover where your CSS exists in your design. So as you can see, CSS Designer is a powerful tool that enables you to visually design and manage CSS in a very simple way. Spend some time exploring the CSS Designer workflow and get to know how CodeView, LiveView, and CSS Designer all work together to generate code in your web page design.